Aurora Public School meets with parents virtually, of course, in less than an hour to talk about closing the current schools on three campuses. But as 9 News reporter Nelson Garcia shows us, the idea is to provide something different for the community as a response to COVID-19. When the population changes, We've seen significant changes in where students live and, and what patterns of families moving are and even birth rates have changed. The Aurora Public School District must be ready to change too. So says Superintendent Rico Munn. Well, I think we've done a three year process of engaging with the community and asking the community, how should we serve you best? At places like Century Elementary School, South Middle School and Lynn Knoll Elementary, Munn says the needs call for a transformation. In some of our buildings where we've seen uh, low enrollment, we're really looking at what does it mean to provide uh, better supports for our students and families. The smaller Lynn Knoll building would be replaced with a bigger school designed for up to eighth grade. But at Century and South, the district is thinking about a new idea, remote learning centers. So the concept would be to have physical space where uh, one, some of our teachers who are working remote could work out of one of our buildings to maintain strong Wi-Fi connections, IT support. The center would also serve students acting as a place for them to come in for assessments or supports. To where students who are fully remote, if their parents on a given day may need that support because they get called into work or some other circumstance. An idea born from a pandemic. We don't view COVID-19 as um, as momentary. We, we view it as a, a, a pivotal moment in education of changing the nature of some of the work that we do. And so we have to respond to that with changes that Munn says need to be considered. In Aurora, Nelson Garcia, 9 News. And Munn says the Aurora School Board will vote on the recommendations in January after a series of virtual community meetings. If approved, the remote learning centers would start next fall.